All right, what's up guys? Um, I'm going to do a review of my Bass Cat Pantera Classic. It's a uh, year 2019. I upgraded to this this year and I wanted to wait to do a review uh, until I had it out in the water a lot um, so I could give like an honest opinion of it. So this is, like I said, a 2019 Bass Cat Pantera Classic. It has the 200 horsepower Mercury Pro XS. It has a 24 pitch prop on it right now. Um, I don't know if that's the best prop for it, but that's the prop that it came with. I have a 80 pound Minn Kota Altrex on it and I would probably go higher eventually but on my old boat this was the Altrex that I had on it so I just moved it over it handles the boat well it'll hold the boat um, but you know more power the better right um, so on the front console <clears throat> I have two Helix 9s and I do have a Mega Live as you can see right here. Um, I, I mean I would love bigger, everybody loves bigger, but the Helix 9 does the job, does everything that a bigger screen would do. So that's what I want with the Helix 9s. Um, you got your pedestal seat. And then for my center console, I have a Helix 12, works great. And I have the Helix 12 networked with the one Helix 9 in the front for mapping waypoints, etc. And I have another pedestal seat in the back. Um, I love this boat. Uh, I went from a uh, Crestliner XF189 to this boat. Um, going from aluminum to fiberglass. I, I would say this thing rides better than an aluminum boat, which everybody will say that. Um, could I do everything I needed to with the aluminum boat? For the most part, um, until I got up on the like Lake Ontario um, aluminum boat, did not like the rough water up there that much, um, but for all the other lakes, the aluminum boat did fine, but I do like to fish Lake Ontario, so needed something a little bit better. This thing has tons of storage, I don't even use half of it. Got some stuff in there. Some more stuff in there. Just some tackle. I got rods and a third uh, life jacket in there. You can store tackle in there in the bottom if you want. Um, right now I have seven or eight rods in there. And then you got <clears throat> More storage over here. But you got extra paddle. It also has a holder for your anchor light. This boat has two coolers. It has a cooler right here. You can use that however you want for storage or a cooler I, I use it for extra ice because you never know and then uh, another cooler but down there this boat is a little dirty I didn't have time to really clean it um, then you have your glove department which I keep flares and my scale and paperwork in there it keeps it dry I have never had anything wet in there even in the rain um, I do, it came with that hot foot 
at all. Um, Mercury Smartcraft, this will tell me how much fuel I'm using. It does a system check, tip makes, tells me everything's good with the engine. Um, water pressure gauge is up here. Uh, fuel gauge over here. And then a trim gauge. And uh, also have the power pole buttons here. And then I have power pole buttons up there. The feet. So these power poles in the back are 8 foot uh, power poles. Really like them. Especially since I do a lot of fishing by myself. Put the boat in, put the power poles down, go park the boat. Trailer or whatever. Here's your live wells. They're connected, they're separated by this separator here. I've had a good amount of fish, over 20 pounds of fish in here. Never had a problem. Um, they're really deep. I really like the deep live wells because when you're in rough water, it just gives more room for the fish to not be bouncing on the top of your live wells. Then you have two more storage compartments back here. They're huge. The one thing I will say about this boat is you have tons of storage. Tons of storage. So, back here is the engine compartment. Um, I have two lithiums because I have the 80 pound thrust. So I put two lithium batteries. Um, you can see the controller for the power poles. And uh, switch for the power poles and then what I like about this boat is it comes with its own switch. When I turn that switch, everything turns off. So I don't have to worry about the battery draining or anything like that. But you can see you could fit easily more batteries in here. I just have the power pole charge there. And uh, the wiring's pretty good. I haven't really ever had an issue with the wiring. Like I said, I've had this since March. So... This boat rides really smooth, even in rough water. I've had in decently rough water, and I can do 45, 50 in really rough water. And uh, I ain't gonna break my back or hurt, hurt my back or anything. Um, I know everybody wants to know top speed with the 24 pitch prop and the way it's set up on the jack plate i did not move it on the jack plate whoever had it before me already had it set up to the height i i would like to get a hydraulic jack plate for it um i've had it the max speed was 75 now i didn't have it there long because i like just going about 65 65 is good for me but this boat will do over 70 miles per hour, no problem. Like I said, the fastest I've had it was 75. So I just don't really need to go that fast unless I really have to. But um, if you're worried about pulling this boat, I pull this boat with my Ford Ranger. It's got the EcoBoost. It pulls this boat no problem. Like, I, I can't complain. It stops great. It, uh, there's no problem with the power. So if you have a smaller truck, uh, you should be fine. Like I said, I, I absolutely have had no problem with this boat. Um, I really enjoy it. Just wanted to give you guys a little review of it. Just do one more walk around here for you.
Uh, I guess uh, if you're wondering how much I paid for it, like it granted it was used. So it was just around 60000 with tax title tags, all that. So uh, I guess that'll be it then. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.